Good evening, I'm Alex Sykes with your 10 News Update. We've seen a big increase in COVID cases in the ACT with almost 840 new infections recorded. That's 180 more than yesterday, though there has been a drop in hospitalisations. There's 37 people in hospital, two in the ICU, one requiring ventilation. And do you have a story about meeting or seeing the Queen in Canberra? Well, the National Capital Authority wants to hear about it. It's putting together an exhibition to celebrate 70 years of Queen Elizabeth, the second being the Queen of Australia, and want to know about our experiences. The Queen and Me will be a free exhibition held at the National Capital Exhibition from June. In sport, the women's state of origin is coming to Canberra. It's being played at GIO Stadium in June. It's it's the first time the game hasn't taken place in Queensland or New South Wales, with tickets going on sale to the general public next week. NRL CEO Andrew Abdu says they're looking forward to giving Canberrians the chance to witness the elite women's game for the first time. To tomorrow's weather, a top of 23 degrees in Canberra, partly cloudy and some southerly winds turning east to southeasterly. That's all from me. Have a great evening. Good night. Good evening, I'm Alex Sykes with your local 10 News update. Lake Illawarra police are reappealing for information into the suspected murder of Matthew Davis. The 31-year-old was found in his home on Thomas Street in Lake Illawarra last year. Strike Force Siena has been tasked with investigating the circumstances that led up to the 31-year-old's death. Officers are calling on locals to trawl through CCTV and dash cam they may have from the day in question. Monday, August 23. State emergency services in the Illawarra have responded to around 400 calls for help over the past week as a result of the severe weather right across the region. Mount Oosley was back in action today as SES and RFS crews pumped water off the mountain, clearing the way for traffic. Also today, all this wet and windy weather caused widespread cancellations across the rail network today. Repair crews spent the day clearing and repairing any damage after flooding landslips and fallen trees hit tracks. 999 new COVID cases were recorded in the Illawarra region in the latest reporting period. Thankfully, no new deaths. Taking a look at tomorrow's weather map, partly cloudy in Wollongong, temperatures between 15 and 21 degrees, narrow, partly cloudy and 22. Good evening, I'm Alex Sykes with your local 10 News update. A woman in the Central West allegedly claimed more than $80,000 in fraudulent payments from the state government's disaster relief schemes. The 34-year-old was arrested at a home on Weelong Place in Forbes yesterday afternoon after police have been investigating allegations since October. She was granted conditional bail and will appear at Forbes local court on the 22nd of March. Meanwhile, a slight drop in the local Western Health District's COVID cases with over 360 new infections recorded today. Our hospitalisation numbers remain stable. There's still 15 people in hospital and two in the ICU. And some well-deserved recognition for a hard-working member of our community. Janice Harris is the 2022 Orange Woman of the Year. The retired journalist's contributions to Orange span several decades, including being a life member of the Orange Theatre Company, a group she was a founding member of back in 1975. To tomorrow's weather, a top of 21 degrees in Orange, partly cloudy and some light winds becoming easterly. That's all the news for now. I'll see you tomorrow with another update. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Good night. Good evening, I'm Alex Sykes with your local 10 News update. An investigation is underway by police following a crash that left a motorcyclist in hospital with a broken leg. The 23-year-old rider collided with a car along Karingal Road at around 9pm on Tuesday night. The impact throwing the young man onto the roadway. 
The warning of Japanese encephalitis remains in place across the Riverina following the death of a man from northern Victoria. The advice remains to avoid mozzie bites where possible. Meanwhile, Murray MP Ellen Dalton is reassuring locals her electorate office remains open and she's continuing to represent the region in Parliament. It comes after she resigned from the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party, deciding to continue as an independent. And the pump track at Wagga's multi-sport cycling complex is closed until next Tuesday as the tracks undergo some maintenance. Temporary fencing will be in place until the work has been completed. And also congratulations to this year's Wagga Local Woman of the Year, Leonie White. She was presented with the award by Dr Jo McGurr after being a familiar face at Wagga Base Hospital where she has worked in pastoral care for 20 years. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and 27 degrees in Griffith, Wagga 25 and mostly sunny as well. That's all from me. Have a great evening.